Okay guys, so here's how you can turn off the clicking sound whenever you use the keyboard. It's gonna sound something like this, so let me show it to you right now. If I go to the microphone, it sounds like this. Obviously, you are familiar with this. So in case you want to turn it off, there are a few options. Like in case you like the sound, but you don't find it appropriate for the situation, which would be the first option. What you have to do is just to disable the sound altogether using the mute switch. Or if you have the iPhone 15 Pro, just use the button, the action button to turn off the sound in case your button is set up for something else. You can also just swipe uh, down or like go to the settings and disable the sounds on your iPhone for quite a bit of a time. But let's say you have the mute switch, you just disable it like this, your iPhone vibrates a little bit, you go to the uh, silent mode and you are essentially here, right? And now the keyboard doesn't make any sound. However, if you don't like the sound at all and you wanna like make sure you never hear it in your life again, then what you can do is to open up the settings and go to the uh, sounds and haptics. Interestingly enough, it's not part of the keyboard settings, it's part of the sounds and haptics, so go there and literally just scroll down and find the keyboard feedback. So you go and click on this. You have the options, as you can see, of sound and haptic. I have the uh, sound turn on, turn off, uh, turn it off if you want. I and let's say you keep the haptic, so you get at least some feedback of what you're typing. But this is how you can disable the sound altogether on your on your keyboard obviously it works the same on any iphone so it does not matter which device you have but this is how you can do it besides that you have some third-party keyboard options as well so you can go to the app store and download something else and like install it on your device to replace your built-in keyboard there is no problem with that but there you just play with the settings of that specific app so you have to keep that in mind but once you do once you have it like ready and everything then you can just download the gboard or uh, Swift key from Microsoft, whatever you like, and there are some settings. I'm not sure about that, but I'm just talking about the, the built in keyboard. So, hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe to Foxtech, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.